All right. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Chaos Metric meeting today. A couple things that we need to talk about. I think there's a lot kind of buried in this. Um, so today, if you get an edge name, that would be cool. Favorite fruit, which is always, I think, a super hard question because I love fruit and it just depends on the time of year. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, fair enough. This time of year, it's mostly oranges and apples, but yeah, oh, but there's pears. nothing like fresh watermelon in the summer. There isn't. So, do you do seeded or seedless? Because there are people who believe seeded still tastes better than the seedless. It probably tastes better, but who wants the hassle? So, so seedless, seedless all the way. Uh, that's true. Do you know about lightning watermelon? Mm -mm. So there are. If you open up, this is our meeting. If you open up a watermelon, and um, they have like big cracks on the inside. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. It can be kind of dry. Mm -hmm. I was told by my farm stand lady that that is the result of lightning hitting the ground. Yeah. And I didn't believe her. And I looked it up and it's true. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That it can actually create dryness in the watermelon. So if you're ever having a watermelon, you're just not quite getting that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So we need a yellow watermelon in our refrigerator, which is super weird. Oh that yeah, the yellow cute. watermelons are good. Um, My sister um, never liked them. They they have they have a different flavor. They're not they're not just yellow. Um, and so my, my sister kept saying that it tasted too yellow. <laughs> it does. It tastes very yellow, and I'm not about it. I don't like it. <laughs> so yeah, it sits in our like refrigerator it. until it's gonna rot, and then I'll throw it away. Nobody wants it. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the flavor of fruit candies. It tastes like green or tastes like red. It yeah, tastes exactly. Yellow. Tastes too yellow. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right. Um, so, okay. So, oh, do you want to do the new minutes? We can just do them next time. Okay. That's what I did for the last meeting. We can just move them for next time. Okay. They'll be in a different. Okay, we'll take care of that then. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think before we before we start the special announcement that daylight savings mayhem is starting over the course of the next whatever two three weeks. So make special note of when certain parts of the world change and other parts of the world do not change, and there's just there's really no way around it. So watch the calendars. You might miss a meeting or two <laughs> when you show up and nobody's there. <laughs> uh, just try to watch accordingly. All right. Um, so today, what I, I'd like to talk about is over the course. Oops. Over the course of the last um, couple weeks, and in, in our board meeting that just happened recently, we're talking about the vast number of metrics that we have. So we have 85 metrics that have been published uh, in chaos, and not all of those metrics are either used or are necessarily of high quality. So over the many years, these metrics have just been kind of produced by a variety of people. Some people just come in, produce a metric and leave. Um, and the maintenance of 85 documents is very high. And so Elizabeth and I have been going through uh, the metrics, trying to identify metrics that might be candidates for archiving. So in the archiving process, we wouldn't remove the link, the web link to the metric, and we wouldn't remove the uh, markdown that is associated with that metric either. So all links would stay the same. It just wouldn't be featured prominently on our web page, and it also wouldn't be uh, really actively maintained any longer. Again, the intention here is quality over quantity, and everybody really seems in agreement with this. I haven't met anybody that wants to keep them all. So Elizabeth and I are going through this process to identify, and I think right now we're sitting at about 30 that are candidates for for, um, for archiving, which is nice. Um, I'll 
I'll follow up by saying if a metric is archived and somebody does want to advocate for it and bring it out of archive, that's fine. Um, but we do need that person to also be a candidate for helping us get it out of archive and actually edit it and make it high quality on the website. So just saying that you want it and not wanting to do the work is not gonna do it enough. You have to say you want it and then be willing to do the work to pull it out of archive. Um, just because that work has a, has a tendency to fall just to a couple people. So right now, um, our process is uh, Peculiar and Yiga are going through and putting the metrics into a new template that we have. And so you can see there's a series of pull requests here to get them into a new template. Um, yeah, thank you for all that work. Elizabeth and I had talked, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna merge those new templates in. We were kind of doing editing at the same time as the new templates, and we're just gonna do it in, in sequential order, which is the new templates. And then we will go back and, and do editing for the ones that stick around. I think what I'd like to talk about a little bit today is um, of the metrics that we do identify for our archiving, is there, um, what's the disclaimer that we wanna put at the top of the metric that is in an archive state? I assume we just want a banner on the top of a metric that would just say something to the effect of this metric is archived and it's no longer being maintained. So maybe if we could just come up with a little bit of text, that would be great. Oops. This metric has been archived. It is. Something like that. To bring. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even say that. I would keep it simple just and just. It. Yep. Okay. Because otherwise, you're just going to encourage people to try to bring them all back. <laughs> Which I don't want. <laughs> yeah. I I I have a a guess on how many that we put into archive will actually come out of archive in a year it's zero is my guess agreed <laughs> okay um so if we're if we're going to do this i think you know as we kind of go through this process i think there are a couple already that are candidates for archiving so if we um you can see we're kind of marking these just as yes this might change a little bit if they're in compass um, but some of them are kind of surprising to me, to be honest with you. So like issues new, inactive contributors. I mean, they seem like they would be useful metrics. But... I think we are well defined and we think that they're useful. Maybe we, maybe we keep a few of those. It might just be that they're, they don't happen to be in any models. Okay. I think we also talked about saving some that are implemented already in Augur and Grimoire Lab as well. Yeah, we so did. I would guess those have been. Okay. If I had to guess, I would say. Okay. So if we were to take a look, so like sponsorship is probably not one that is that <laughs> implemented anywhere. <laughs> would be my, yeah, archive that thing. My, my guess. And so the idea would be, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, this is one of my least favorite metrics. Sorry oh, to all. Lucky you. you know, it's like it's like picking your favorite child, but this is definitely one of my un, unfavorite, least favorite children right here. Okay. <laughs> I just think so, it's really confusing. So the process is to do what, Elizabeth? Is it to go to the markdown? Like, what would be the way we would, we could even kind of run through this here. I'm kind of curious myself. So I um, think- hang on. All right, hang on one second. When you looked at the practitioner guides, did you look at the ones that are being developed and the ones that haven't been developed yet or just the published ones? Um, let's take a look. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to be, yeah, so these are just the published ones. These aren't all the, if you go to the data science working group, there's mm -hmm. a whole bunch of them that have the metrics added. Didn't look at that. Yeah, because this is sponsorship is in one of the diverse leadership. It's in the diverse. Oh, leadership. Elizabeth. 
Dang it, Dawn. Break Sorry. my heart. <laughs> but maybe Sorry. we can just make it clearer. I just think this is a really confusing metric. So maybe with the use of the guide, it will be less confusing. I'm pretty sure it's in there. I don't remember. Maybe the, I only want to the, the concept is good. I, I don't have issue with the concept. It's just kind of the way this is written. And um, I don't know. Yeah, it is indeed in the diverse leadership guide. Too bad for you. Sorry. Yes, I have to still love this child. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and let's pick, oh, here's one. I know this one. I guarantee yes. this. This is the one that we were working on in data science, and we were going to bring to the DEI working group to rework or like figure out what to do with it. So. Um, if the if the DEI working group has no problem with us just archiving it, I think it's fine to archive. This one was one that we had taken a look at, and it's just written so poorly. Oh, you know what? I just lied. I'm I would I'm no. I'm thinking. Of uh, yeah, I was like, I don't think that was this one. Sorry, I need more coffee. Yeah, definitely <laughs> can archive chat platform inclusivity. It's just Oof. not well written. It's like every this question doesn't align with the description, doesn't align with the objectives, doesn't. The filters don't, like nothing really makes sense. Okay, so let's pretend. So, what would be the easiest way to say archive chat platform inclusivity? Is it to go like to add this statement? I'm looking at you, Elizabeth. Just because. Yeah. So I think yes, we should add it to the GitHub Markdown in case somebody stumbles across it in GitHub. Um, but also on the WordPress side, I can make that box. Well, no, I can't. Hmm. I was gonna say I can like make it stand out more, you know, as like a banner. But if it's in the same file, I can't do that. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe just having that header is enough. What do you think? Just make a level one header, like a top level. Okay. And then do we have to tell you, do you have to re deploy it? I, in theory, it should pull it automatically. Any changes that are merged in should go automatically to the website. I think the issue we had before was caching. It was, there was like a caching issue, but we've kind of halted caching for the time being, which is also why the website's a little bit slow. Okay. Um, so I think it'll be okay. And then how do we, what do you need to do to get it off here? That would like, be the thing I would just need to, I would need to know to pull it off the all metrics. Would we would just pull it off of the all metrics list or would we also pull it off of the topics? All the topics too. So it's okay. searchable, like you could come across it on search, but I just, I think off the web page is what we want. Yeah, so I would just need to remove those categories from the, and that's on the WordPress side. Okay. From that page. So, should we, do, would we do that in the markdown? Uh, if it's, if it's as a comment, well, I don't know. I would still need some kind of trigger to tell me to go and remove those categories. Okay. Um, What's the best way to do that for you? Probably I would wait until they were all, we identified them all, they've all been arch archived with the comment in there and then just take, take a 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it would be and go do them all at once. Okay. Just remove all those from categories at once. So we should probably like have something here just so you know which ones they are yeah yes the final like these are the final ones we have decided to we're archive gonna, we're gonna keep making all these columns and there's not going to be a single metric that's going to make it through <laughs> and everything's going to stay on the web page <laughs> yeah this is what's going to happen I will, I, will, <laughs> I will do my best our filter uh, is too many things <laughs> uh okay archive message add in something like that 
right? And that could tell you. Perfect, yeah. Okay. I think that also is helpful so that we do have a, a final list of the ones that have been archived. And maybe That's we true. even go back and put a comment in the other, in the, you know, metric as it is in the spreadsheet somewhere of like, hey, this is archived. Because I feel like that's an important thing to to note, maybe in the other. Mm -hmm. We could do that. Uh, so just like, uh, yeah. like remote yeah. archived. Mm -hmm. Or tell a different color or, or something. Or a different color, yeah. OK. OK. That's not, that makes a lot of sense. OK, that's good. Um, we, that was honestly like what I really needed to talk about today because at this point, just a lot of the work is just aimed at merging these new templates in. And then Elizabeth and I, I think, just kind of going through it now. Dawn, you had mentioned stuff coming out of data science. Could you, is there some visibility you could provide for that? Is there like a, a minute? You mean the work in progress yeah. ones? Yeah, those are all issues in the um, data science working group. Okay. I might have changed the one for, uh, let me see if I updated that. Did you these... say, sorry, I was just going to say, did you always say he was going to provide a list from Compass? He said he was okay. going to have somebody kind of come in and take a look at those as well. Okay. I could remember. My guess is that'll take a little while. And so I'm I'm almost wondering if we can just go with B, C, and B for this time being as metrics. Yeah, we can certainly unarchive something easy enough. Just remove the banner and put yep. it back. Yep. And then Don, these are what you're talking about are candidates for practitioner guides. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I just dropped a link in the chat. Okay. You can... So if you click on any of these, sure, um, you can see which ones. Okay. Okay. And it's possible if one of them is really poorly written and there's another one that might be similar, we could possibly talk about swapping some of those out because those okay. haven't been written yet. Okay. Which one has um, sponsorship in? Diverse, Diverse leadership. leadership. Elizabeth, Don, did you make yeah, when you're making these practitioner guides and picking these metrics, do you do any kind of um, like editing or rework of the metrics when you are going through them? Like as you're reading them, knowing you're going to depend on this metric to support your practitioner guide, like is that something that you have found needs to be done or maybe the metrics that you're using are already pretty solid? Um. That's a good question. I tend to use them as is, even if they're not perfect. Okay, I'm just I, have, I have made tweaks to them, but usually, usually it's, I feel like it's just sort of good enough because the idea from, I mean, from, I, I understand why y'all are doing this, this process, but from my perspective, it's just a con, as when I'm consuming the metrics, you know, I just, take from it what I what I can, even if it's not even if it's not perfect. One part of that too is this new template is meant to just give you kind of that narrative that you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To, to even think about the metric as being valuable for a particular context and kind of hide some of those details. That's really the, the intention there. Okay, well, I can, that's easy enough. I can go through these. I'm guessing they might add a couple, but not probably a ton to the list. And I'll just add them here as, you know. And let me know if you see any of them the, the, where the metrics are particularly problematic and we can talk about whether or not it really needs to be in the guide. Yeah, like some because are- it's not, it's not set in stone, we can change it. Okay. Maybe I'll just drop something in the issue. But if I see something yeah. like, I'll say this is a particularly- Poor, this is particularly poorly, very poorly written metric, and uh, don't necessarily recommend they use it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and if we if we if we don't want to move forward with sponsorship, we we could possibly use something else for the diverse leadership okay. practitioner guide because we haven't we haven't written very much of it. 
Okay. Um, okay. I can do that. Um, is there anything? This seems to be moving forward for me. I think we're getting clarity from everybody on kind of how to reduce the set of metrics and focus on a more quality set. Um, oh, Elizabeth too. I had asked Kevin and I think he was gonna reach out to Vinod to also help kind of in this as we're working to improve the text behind any of the metrics that we have to kind of do that as a pair themselves. Elizabeth and I had talked, so we're just gonna, we're we're basically just using our own expertise to make editorial changes to the metrics, nothing functional. So if it's not reading well, say in the description, we're just using our our own history to make those changes. Um and just because the list was long, we were thinking of a couple of people who have been around the chaos project for a long time and were probably involved in the development of, if not all, but nearly all of the metrics that we have in front of us. And so Kevin had suggested that he would be happy to do that. And I, he had mentioned that Vinod would be a good candidate. And so then Elizabeth, if we have say, let's just pretend 55 metrics, like you and I would then be responsible for Kind of copy editing half of that and then kevin and Vinod would take on the other half so get it in the new template kind of split up what we're going to copy edit and then at that point the last step is to get to start taking a look at adding these citations to the metrics themselves so um that is now complete which is awesome i haven't taken a look at everything here um, but my student took the time to kind of go through and understand the metric itself and try to identify some published literature to support that metric. Would we add those to the ones even that we're archiving? I mean, it's kind of a pain, but if it's there, I feel bad if it's not used, you know? That it can be on the like the lat step seven. Yeah. Of the, well, the we have idea. literally nothing else to do. <laughs> I do. I do think, though, that maybe we need to vet the references oh, a little bit. We will. OK, because there was there was at least one um, might have been board council diversity or inclusive leadership where the citations weren't particularly helpful. OK, no problem. I mean, yeah. we just need to I mean, in one case, that. like one of the references was leadership in healthcare. OK. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't fit. No. <laughs> and to be honest, I think that I, if I had to guess, I would say that your student was probably struggling to find anything um, relevant and probably so. Probably the probably the best thing they could find, which yes. fair enough. Things like um, test coverage might be a little bit easier, but yeah, I agree. Okay, no, I'll definitely we'll de definitely at least take a click on it and take a look at the abstract to see if it's like at least in the, the realm of, of the world. And if not, we just won't include it. Okay. I think part of it was we just, like, I'm hoping this list is helpful. I really have not gone through it, but this list is helpful to at least just get us off the ground a little bit in a variety of spots. And I, I hear your point. Okay, um, that was honestly the biggest thing that I needed to talk about today just because this is now in progress, I think. And it's just taking a few people to kind of slowly work our way through. Um, it, it does make, I, I, I'll just tell you that I think our many of our next metrics meetings are probably just going to be short as they're probably just going to be updates on where we're at in this process. I don't really want to develop any new metrics at the moment <laughs> just because we have to clean up what we have. So, yeah, which I think is is maybe what the the item from Ruth was talking about, how, you know, the metrics, new metrics we can start thinking about. Um, I wasn't, uh, I don't remember that. Maybe I, I wasn't either. meeting. Um, okay. But I think um, it's about new metrics and more about which of our existing metrics we should be using and what okay. the process is for doing that. 
Um, I mean, that's something I can certainly bring to the UNSDG working group and just talk about the process of developing a metric. And here's the template to develop a metric. And now that we have, I think, the really simplified template that we're using, it's pretty straightforward, which is just really a question and a summary is really all you, what's that? Do they really need new metrics or? Oh, they may not. I understand. <laughs> no, I understand. I, I, I think maybe, so this is, this is uh, I don't know. It's not just an open source thing. It's a technologist thing. It, it always, it seems like it always defaults to what new stuff do we, can we create? And I think we should just push back and maybe maybe sure. have them start with some of the practitioner guides, start with some of those metrics, start with some of the early concepts. Because I think a lot of these, it's about measuring measuring the open source projects that are supporting the sustainable development goals, not about measuring the success of the sustainable development goals, right? It, yes, I think. I think they're still kind of sorting that out. So, I, well, And then are there metrics that you could understand as to how a particular project is actually having an impact on a sustainable development goal. That's what I was gonna say. I think that seems to be the thing. One of the things that they're really interested in measuring is the impact, but that to me seems more of like a practitioner guide slash model slash complicated topic, not something you could just plug into GitHub, you know? Definitely not. Um, but po again, point well taken not just to develop new things mm -hmm. out of the gate. Um, okay. But I'm at that UNSDG meeting. I think you're there too, Don. Aren't you pretty regularly? Maybe. I don't I don't plan to attend it particularly regularly. Okay. I've got enough meetings and that one feels like there's a lot of bike shedding that needs to happen before any real work's gonna happen. There is a lot of just <laughs> <laughs> orienting so i'm not terribly concerned that they're going to be building metrics anytime soon how about that <laughs> yeah fair enough uh okay i think that's good so i mean do, do you still want to have i think it's important just to have this meeting just as a touch point just to give you an update but i think over the next i don't know maybe through the year through 2024 they might be relatively short just because we're, we're like we're in the process of um, whatever editing and it just is what it is <laughs> so here's what we can we can always cancel individual meetings too if there's if there's no agenda we can just hey we're not gonna we're not gonna meet next week yeah and maybe actually then if we did that maybe you and i elizabeth could just use this time instead of our other afternoon time because she elizabeth and i have another hour today where we go through the metrics and honestly i'd rather just have one hour where we go through the metrics <laughs> than two. I mean, I love metrics, but yeah, <laughs> too clingy now. <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's maybe, um, I'll kind of keep, I'll think about it, but it's possible maybe just this meeting next week is if you just want to watch me and Elizabeth work on metrics, <laughs> you're more than welcome to join. <laughs> next right. week. Next week is the time zone change, so probably we are not going to be anyway. <laughs> two weeks. Well, these are, yeah, these are every two weeks. We should just take off. All chaos meetings are canceled during this weird week of daylight savings. I might propose that next year. Next year, I think, or spring, it's like two weeks. So, you know, take a little break, Zero. everybody. Okay. Well, Elizabeth, maybe you and I can just plan on that and we just send out a meeting or, or a notice to everybody saying, feel free to watch us work, but we're just honestly going to spend this time working on, on the metrics. So that would be in two weeks, right? Yeah, that'd be in two weeks. Yeah, cool. Okay. That's all I got, people. Awesome. Yeah. Got to clean these up. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks, everybody. Bye. everybody. Bye. Bye. See ya.